Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again. And in this another episode of Financial Function Formulas in Excel, we are going to cover another function called NPV, which is called Net Present Value in Excel. So NPV is a financial function that calculates the net present value of an investment you have invested using a discount rate and a series of cash flows. So you are going to learn so much in this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do because we are going to cover each and every functionality of Excel in coming days, months or years. So let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet. Like here we have a discount rate which is 10% and we have an investment of 300,000 amount and we expect a return right so whatever you invest your amount in some investment tool like fixed deposits or another deposits or even in your business you expect a return okay so here is a investment period which is zero which i have just invested a 300,000 and in one year i demand zero because i don't expect a return after first period so I'm just assuming it to be annual here and the second I have this much amount and until sixth year I expect a total return of this particular amount from my amount invested. But what is NPV? So we need to understand what is NPV before jumping on to this. See NPV is net present value which is calculated by taking the difference between present value of cash inflows and the present value of cash outflows over a period of time so i know maybe it may be confusing for you but i am going to write a mathematical expression or you can say equation here to give you an overview how it works traditionally so let me just put a rectangle here to give you an overview so it will be a shape like this and let me just uh, put a textbook like this so NPV traditionally we calculate by entering our present value okay divided by one plus the discount rate at which our present value to be calculated and it gives to the power period or NPER here so that's how we traditionally find uh, net present values using a mathematical expression and in the same way we are gonna find that when we apply such formula here okay so now in our example here we have a investment of 300,000 amount right so let's find out what our NPV function says so NPV let's open the NPV function so we have two arguments mainly so first is the rate which will be the discount rate here which is very straightforward okay and in the next value section we need to enter our first to sixth periods cash flows okay so that's how we just enter that right and if we close the parentheses let's see how much amount we incur so we incur that much amount right but we haven't added a investment amount so if we need to find the npv here then we need to add a investment amount which is this which is the initial investment and if we click this so we get the net present value like this okay so let me just delete that for now so now you must be wondering okay so you find an npv here but can we get the same answer by applying our traditional method here which is this so such that we don't need an mpv function okay and like in previous video we have found the compound annual growth rate using our custom formula using the same mathematical expression so that's how we are going to find that in this tutorial so let's start with the first here which is zero i know this answer gonna be zero but what we are going to find is the net present value for the first period so first period will be the present value present value will be this right so it will be divided by one plus our discount rate which is 10 so it will be a one plus one right 
so 1 plus 10 by 100 is equal to 110 by 100 so 0 will be cancelled with 0 so 11 by 10 will be 1 by 1 okay so I did all the calculation so hope you understand by now where this this 1.1 came from and it should have the power of the terms here so power is like this right that's how we add an operator for the power in Excel and the NPER will be this it's our first here so I have enter or selected this cell because we are going to drop down to all our future values so it will be easier for us just to select the cell number here let's see what we find out so we find out the zero it's understandable because our future cash flow for the first year will be zero but if we apply to all we get all these answers okay we have a net present value of this much when we came to the second year and this much towards the third fourth fifth and to the sixth so if we add all these values so we will get our net pv for six total years how just sum this range here which we have calculated close this so we get the same answer hope you get to know how and pv works and hope you get how we have related with the our custom formula so hope you understand how npv works and how npv function works and how you can apply your own npv formula for the specific terms like this so if you want to download this sheet you can browse through our description box you will find it if you didn't then please go ahead to exceltutorial.net and there you will find this sheet here and if you have learned something until now please click the like button or if you have some question in mind you can ask away in comment box so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it because we are going to cover each and every aspect of excel in detail so see you in the next video until then bye bye